we see a number on a scale and we want it to go down by any means necessary. But what if the number isn't the real problem? What if the weight is just a single superficial clue to a much deeper, more complex puzzle happening inside our bodies? Hey, Dr. Mike here. And today we're talking about a peptide that's been wildly misunderstood, often filed away under the wrong category entirely. We're talking about retitrutide and the narrative that it's just another fat loss peptide is like calling the International Space Station a really fast elevator. It technically goes up, but you're missing the entire universe of its function. So let's get into the real science of what's happening. This is not meant to treat, diagnose, cure, and is purely for entertainment. Research peptides are not for human or veterinary use. If you know, you know. The reason it's crucial to reframe our understanding is that many are approaching retitrutide with a very superficial surface level goal. It is not fundamentally a fat loss peptide. It is a longevity peptide. The more you research, the more you look at the actual mechanisms, you see incredible outcomes. We're talking about the potential reversal of conditions like PCOS and type 2 diabetes, systemic problems being addressed by one compound. Now there's always talk about creating an oral version of these peptides. Let's address that head on. Oral peptides face a monumental challenge in the human body. They are broken down by digestion long before they can reach their target receptors in the bloodstream. If there's no receptor activation, there's no effect. It's simple biology. If it doesn't make it to the bloodstream, it cannot work. So let's circle back to retitrutide. It represents a biological reset, but it's often treated as just another diet tool. What's truly interesting is the fixation some still have on its predecessors, semoglutide and terzabatide. To believe that older, less comprehensive tools are the pinnacle of metabolic science is to ignore the evolution of our understanding. True progress lies in finding solutions that address the root cause, not just mask the symptoms. The conversation around. Retitrutide is often framed as a miracle fat loss shot. That's a profound misunderstanding of its power. It is not a diet drug. It's not just a weight loss peptide. It is a biological reprogramming tool. Think of it as a systemic fix for some very seriously broken internal machinery. Machinery that's aging you faster than your birth certificate. The same circles that celebrate compounds like Ozempic and Manjaro are often missing the bigger picture. They're playing with finger paints while a masterpiece of genetic engineering is being unveiled. Retitrutide is rewriting the operating system on a neuroendocrine, mitochondrial, and metabolic level. It makes those other peptides look like Flintstone vitamins by comparison. If you think the main event for retitrutide is fat loss, you're missing the point entirely. The real game is longevity. Before we go any further, we have to ask a question that is rarely considered. Why do we store fat in the first place? The common answer, because we eat too much, is tragically incomplete. The truth is far more complex. The answer isn't just about overeating. It's about a broken signaling system. It's about chronically elevated insulin. It's about leptin resistance. It's about dopamine addiction from our environment. It's about low mitochondrial output and hypothalamic inflammation. In other words, your body is storing fat because it has lost the ability to properly manage energy. It's in a state of confusion and crisis. Retitrutide doesn't just burn the fat that's been stored. It resets the entire communication system that caused the fat to be stored in the first place. This is a critical distinction. You can starve yourself, but in that state of calorie deficit, your body enters a catabolic state. It will often choose to break down muscle over fat. Why? Because your body's ancient survival programming sees fat as a precious energy reserve. It thinks if things go sideways, this energy storage will save me. Muscle, on the other hand, is highly metabolically active. It costs a lot of energy to maintain. So from the body's perspective of survival and homeostasis, it can afford to lose muscle, but it cannot afford to lose its emergency fat supply. This is the dilemma. People want to lose fat, but they often mistake weight loss for fat loss. This is why the number on the scale can be so misleading. So what does Retitrutide actually do? How does it fix this broken system? Let's break down the mechanics. This peptide repairs insulin signaling at the receptor level. That's the first major checkbox. It restores leptin sensitivity in the hypothalamus. Your brain can finally hear the signals telling it that you have adequate energy stores. Checkbox number two. It activates glucagon to increase your basal metabolic rate. This is a crucial function that its predecessors lack. It cranks up mitochondrial function and biogenesis, more energy factories and more efficient factories. Semuglutide and terzipatide do not do this. And perhaps most impressively, it crosses the blood-brain barrier to repair hippocampal dysfunction. We'll delve deeper into what that means in a moment. This is just the first minute of what's happening inside your body when these receptors get triggered. 
Red a true tide doesn't just make your body smaller, it makes your body smarter. And that is the ultimate goal for the body to run itself the way it was designed to. When you introduce a substance that requires you to stay on it forever, you haven't solved the problem. You've just created a dependency. A true solution empowers the body to function correctly on its own. Let's talk about physiology. Retitrutide acts by activating three different receptors, GLP-1, GIP, and glucagon. Each one is a critical piece of the human longevity puzzle. Let's start with GLP-1 or glucagon-like peptide 1. This is secreted by your gut when you eat. It's like your body's metabolic brake pedal. It slows gastric emptying, reduces appetite, and stimulates insulin, but critically, only when glucose is elevated. This smart release prevents hypoglycemia. But here's what's more important. GLP-1 reduces post-meal inflammation and enhances neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to learn, remember, and adapt. It directly decreases inflammation in the hypothalamus, which is your body's command center for hunger, metabolism, and even your circadian rhythm, the sleep-wake cycle. Remember, your system pulses crucial hormones, especially growth hormone, during deep delta sleep to allow for healing. If that cycle is disrupted, you are not healing. This is why you can get a full eight hours of sleep and still wake up exhausted. You didn't get restorative rest. With GLP-1 activation, you're not just full, you're becoming neurologically stable. Now for the second lever, GIP, or gastric inhibitory polypeptide. This one is widely misunderstood. Some claim it increases fat storage. This is incorrect. It modulates insulin secretion and regulates the sensitivity of fat cells. When paired synergistically with GLP-1, it enhances lipolysis, the breakdown of fats for fuel. It acts as a balancer. The synergy between GLP-1 and GIP is what restores intelligent insulin release, not just the blind spikes that occur from a dysfunctional system. Think of it this way. GLP-1 says, we have received fuel. GIP then says, excellent. Let's store only what is absolutely necessary and burn the rest with maximum efficiency. You're controlling fat at the hormonal level, not just through sheer willpower. This is a system that provides support when God-tier discipline isn't available because the underlying biology is compromised. Now we get to the third agonist, glucagon. This is the true game changer. This is why retitrutide isn't even playing the same sport as the others. Many have a misplaced fear of glucagon because it can raise blood sugar, but that's only in a broken, dysfunctional system. It cannot do that in a healthy, well-regulated one. In a healthy system, glucagon liberates stored fat. It increases hepatic beta oxidation, your liver's ability to burn fat, and it boosts your energy expenditure while you're at rest. Yes, this means that even while resting, the metabolic engine is running hotter, but there's more. And this is where we get deep into the science of longevity. Glucagon activates a gene transcription factor called PGC1-alpha. This is the master regulator of mitochondrial biogenesis. In plain English, it tells your body to build more engines to burn more fuel. You go from a hybrid car to a Formula One race car, metabolically speaking. You don't just burn more calories, you increase your fundamental capacity to create more energy from those calories. And that right there is the foundation of longevity. When you run out of energy, you slow down. When you slow down, you make less energy. It's a self-propagating negative cycle. But if you have a system in place that keeps energy production high and multiplies the furnaces that create that energy, that is the essence of maintaining biological youthfulness. This isn't about extending life to be 200 years old. It's about improving health span, ensuring that your later years are vibrant and functional, not managed decline. And of course, all of this must be married to a solid lifestyle. These tools work to fix the system, making healthy choices and medication, if needed, work infinitely better. They restore function so that your efforts yield real results. Why do people age poorly? It isn't just gray hair and wrinkles. True aging at the cellular level is this. Mitochondria stop producing energy efficiently. Insulin becomes largely ineffective. Hormones decline. Cells stop repairing accumulated damage. And inflammation goes fully systemic. It's a state of biological burnout. Reta True Tide addresses every single one of those points. It works to reverse the burnout. Let's review how. Insulin sensitivity is restored at the receptor level, so glucose is managed with significantly less effort from the pancreas. Mitochondria are multiplied and strengthened through that glucagon and PGC1-alpha activation we discussed. Chronic inflammation is suppressed by GLP-1's anti-inflammatory effects in the brain and the periphery. Hypothalamic dysfunction is reversed. This means your hunger, sleep, recovery, and metabolic output are all working in harmony the way they were designed to, and leptin starts working again.
The body finally has an accurate gauge of how much fat it has on board, ending the metabolic guesswork. Most people don't realize that retitrue tide crosses the blood-brain barrier. Let that sink in for a moment. It doesn't just act on your pancreas or your fat cells. It acts directly on your central nervous system, specifically the hippocampus and the hypothalamus. And what drives overeating, fatigue, emotional instability, and even depression? Neuroinflammation. Neuroinflammation is catastrophic. It stems from high cortisol, a high dopamine load from constant stimulation, high blood sugar, gut inflammation, and sleep disruption. Retitrutide works to turn down the volume on the inflammation that's making your brain sluggish and your emotions unstable. You're not just eating less because you feel full, you're eating less because your brain isn't on fire, your impulse control is restored, and your reward system isn't constantly screaming for another hit. This is where Ozempic and Monjaro completely fail. They suppress appetite and that's largely it. Retitrutide restores regulation. That is the difference between pushing a car with a flat tire and one with a perfectly tuned engine. Let's lay it out. Ozempic is a GLP-1 agonist. Munjaro is a GLP-1 and GIP dual agonist. Retitrutide is a GLP-1, GIP, and glucagon triagonist. One lever versus two levers versus three. So what can retitrutide do that the others can't? It increases energy expenditure at rest. It activates glucagon to release stored fat. It enhances mitochondrial biogenesis, building more cellular engines. It improves hypothalamic sensitivity to leptin. It helps repair the hippocampus. It modulates your resting metabolic rate and increases fat burning independent of calorie restriction. The others do not do these things. The others suppress a symptom. Retitrutide helps to reverse the systemic breakdown. Sure, the older compounds can help you lose weight, but often this is a combination of water, glycogen, precious muscle, and even bone density, with only a fraction being actual fat. Retitrutide helps you rebuild the machinery that caused the problem in the first place, leading to sustainable, healthy changes in body composition. The goal isn't just to be smaller, it's to be more biologically robust and resilient. You don't hack your way into longevity. You restore biology to its native, innate intelligence. Your body knows what to do. The challenge is clearing out the static and noise so that its signals can be heard and executed properly. With a tool like Retitrutide, your cells become efficient energy producers again. Your fat tissue becomes more metabolically active. Your hypothalamus becomes sensitive to real signals of satiety, not artificially induced cravings. Your hippocampus starts processing emotional responses with clarity instead of knee-jerk panic. Your hormones fall back into alignment because they aren't constantly fighting a battle against systemic inflammation. Retitrue Tide doesn't just treat symptoms. It restores order to the entire biological system. So what are the heavy hitters that accelerate aging? Insulin resistance, visceral fat, hormonal collapse, mitochondrial decline, and chronic inflammation. Retitrue Tide touches every single one of those boxes. For educational purposes, let's consider how such a system could be supported. Hypothetically, one could explore stacking it with AH-pitalon to protect telomeres, the caps on our DNA, BPC-157 to rebuild the gut and brain lining, GHK copper to drive collagen production and neurogenesis, MK-677 to restore natural growth hormone pulses, DSIP, or delta sleep-inducing peptide to fix circadian rhythm and cortisol issues, and 5-amino-1-MQ to reduce inflammation and upregulate NAD+. This creates a hypothetical biological system for profound health. Retitrutide is the commanding officer that directs the repairs and initiates the reset. It opens the door for other hamster protocols to work with exponentially greater results. Could your hamster research use retitrutide by itself? Absolutely. And it would still provide profound longevity benefits. But understanding the synergistic nature of our biology is key. The bottom line is this. People will hear that retitrutide helps with weight loss, and it does, but that's like hearing that a cure for cancer also helps you get better parking spots at the hospital. The secondary benefit is not the main event. Weight loss is the side effect, or more accurately, it is just one effect. The biological renewal is the ultimate prize. Retitrutide is not a shortcut, a gimmick, or a social media trend. It is one of the most intelligent biological tools we have ever had at our disposal for reversing biological aging, repairing the metabolic engine, and restoring neuroendocrine balance. You can extend your health span without trading muscle, sleep, or sanity to get it. Ozempic might help you skip dessert. Munjaro might help you avoid the late night snack. Retitrutide helps your body stop asking for any of it in the first place because it's no longer in a state of inflamed crisis. This isn't just weight loss. This is a total system restoration disguised as an injection. When you get it, when you truly understand that this is a systemic, 
biological upgrade, you realize you're not just going to get leaner. You are going to become genuinely physically resilient, clearer headed, more robust and stronger than you have been in a decade. And at that point, you'll realize the truth. Fat loss was just the beginning. The real prize is getting your entire biology back online, working for you, not against you. Longevity, in the truest sense of the word, is the game. As always, if you found this information valuable, please support the channel by liking this video and subscribing for more content on the cutting edge of health science.